So originally, uh, I didn't have any backup solution even before solar. Uh, we live here in Kent. We don't have a lot of outages where we're at, uh, but we did have an outage the first winter we were here in this house uh, where we were out of power for probably about six hours. Um, not a hugely lengthy power outage, but enough that it started me thinking, if I'm working from home, uh, we have a power outage, I'm not able to do my work. And so my initial solution was to buy a lot of desktop UPS systems. So the little battery backups you can get Office Depot or, or what have you. Uh, so when we do, did have minor outages, you'd hear a chorus of alarms going off across the entire house as uh, the UPSs were complaining about their loss of power. But what I found was those batteries don't last all that long if they're not used frequently with outages. Um, they're just sitting there and then you find out that in, in an outage, certain things are backed up for a, a very short period of time. You can't put a, a high draw item like a refrigerator on that. And so it just was it was a kludgy solution that I didn't think was going to work long term. Um, our next uh, option was to look at a generator. Uh, when this neighborhood was built, we had uh, a set of neighbors across the street from us who got the builder to include a generator, natural gas generator. And during the outage, uh, we were really shocked about how loud it was. Um, and this is this is a new generator on a new house. It's not something, uh, and it's a, an in-place permanent installation. So not something that was old or in need of repair or anything, but it was extremely loud when it was running to the point where we could hear it very clearly inside our closed home when they're across the street. So that was a big drawback. Uh, my wife was really concerned about that. The other part was having to look for a general contractor, dig a trench three feet out from our gas line, uh, had to emplace it in our yard. And my wife was not a fan of that either. Um, she felt like that was going to be too much work. Uh, that it would look good. Um, the way that our house is positioned, our side yard is very large where the generator would go, but it's sort of, even though with, we have a, a fence, it's sort of in view of the rest of the neighborhood. So we sort of decided that given the cost, given those considerations, that probably wasn't going to be the best solution for us. And so we started looking into battery backups. And this was about the same time that we were looking into solar. Uh, I came across the Tesla Powerwall solution. The Gen 2 Powerwall was coming out right about that same time. Uh, inquired about that when we did the solar installation. However, they weren't quite available yet. Um, there was a hurricane in Puerto Rico. I think we all remember that. Uh, and Tesla was really prioritizing those backup um, solutions for them to get their grid back online. Uh, and so we had to go without it for a little while. Uh, but when it did come available again, uh, it was the solution we chose as something that was going to be clean and a fairly easy installation that would have very little impact on us or the house, obviously quiet while it would run and we'd be able to back up the whole home seamlessly. <laughs>